Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to tell you how I personally pass Security Plus. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you passed. Let me know what your thoughts are as far as how I studied. And if you have a better way to study, let me know. I want to start off by saying that I technically started studying for Security Plus back in April, but it just it wasn't something that I put effort into. I didn't care. So by the time I started studying in January, some of the stuff was like, okay, I've heard of this, but I had no idea. So I started studying January 1st. I had an initial uh, exam date of February 1st. Trust me, I was nowhere near ready, but. I'm going to tell you how I got ready. So I started off on Udemy. I purchased Jason Dion's course and his course is very good. It comes with a practice exam at the end, but I will say this, print off the CompTIA exam objectives. And when you do, just keep this with you. Always keep this with you. This is your Bible. This is what you go by. I will say that he does not cover everything. And if you go through the objectives, you'll see that he doesn't. And that some of his explanations are long, wordy, just long-winded. And there are some things he covers that you really don't need to know that's not a part of the objectives. But what he does cover is in-depth, it's really good, and it's helpful. So when I purchased the course, what I did is I did three sections a day. I also printed off his study guide that comes with the course. You have access to it. I printed off the study guide. I I went to Staples and I think it cost me about $40. Well worth it. So what I did is every day before I started my three sections, I went back over the previous three sections. This way, everything was still fresh in my mind. Uh, things tend to build on, build on each other, so that way... Everything was just fresh for me. I also want to throw out there that I watched him on normal speed. Trust me, you'll understand why that's important in a second, especially if you're on a time crunch. So once I was done with Dion, I went over to Professor Messer. Professor Messer is on YouTube. He also has a podcast and he is on LinkedIn and you're able to see when he's doing his study groups on LinkedIn as well. So I'll get to the study groups in a second, but his main actual videos for Security Plus is what I studied. Because I had printed off the exam objectives, I was able to follow along. What I didn't know, I circled, checked off, um, highlighted, things like that. That way I knew to come back to these and that I knew I would need to dig a little deeper. From there, I watched Exam Cram. I will link them below because the course itself is exam cram but their channel is something different um i will link them below as well but i watched them on two times the speed and this is because i'm i the material is not new to me it's just more of getting that in my head a little bit better so i watched them on two times the speed he already talks a little fast so it may not be for everybody, but once you start listening, trust me, you would you adapt. Now exam cram is 10 hours, 10 hours and some change. Um, I also didn't print off their study guide. I just watched it on my tablet along with the, the video. I would just look at it, go through. I'm a visual person. I need to visually see things. And if I can touch these things, it's just so much better. It sinks in better. So I would follow along with it on my tablet, but they also have a study guide. And they also, just in case you don't have 10 hours, they break things down by sections. You're able to watch the video based on the section that you need. And I also do this as well. Sections three and four, sec just if you know, you know. So I would watch these sections by themselves and uh, get better clarification. Around this time, I started doing practice exams. I felt comfortable enough to where I could practice what I knew and try to get the, the feel of the real exam. So I use pocket prep. 
I use Exam Compass. Jason Dion has a whole Udemy exam course where it's just nothing but practice tests. I think there's six of them. Um, so CompTIA has an app as well. I'm sure there's other others, but I use CompTIA, Pocket Prep, things like this. And Professor Messer also has exams, well, quizzes on his uh, website. They're called Take 10. And they are, I, I, I'll say that they are probably the most like the real exam. Um, Jason Dion's is wordy, very long paragraph. The real exam was not like that. So if you're doing really good on his exams, you're golden. So around this time, I started using ChatGPT. What I would do is, let's say I needed um, clarification on the OSI model. I would put that in and the AI would give me the information on it. I did use this to study for things that I needed to visually read instead of just hearing. So with what I missed in my quizzes, I would then start taking notes on. I have a little folder that says Security Plus. I would take notes. I would take these notes by using ChatGPT. So I would put in let's see the word that um that i needed or the phrase that i needed it was spit out my definition and i would write things down put it in here put it in my notebook things like that i also use this notebook for writing down ports and protocols if you print out this from jason dion it's already in here but i'm the type of learner that i have to write it a hundred times and that's how i remember so i did write my own handwritten notes I did a couple of flashcards as well, but not as much. Um, so I used that with ChatGPT. I didn't use it that often, but if I needed clarification on something, that is what I used. Two weeks before my exam, I went to Udemy again and I bought Andrew Remyall's Udemy course. I believe I said his last name right. He is awesome just a disclaimer he does cuss but he is awesome he's very hands-on he goes exactly by the objectives everything in the objectives he covers he's hands-on the tools that you need to know for the exam he showed you every one of them every one so he also threw a little tidbit out as far as knowing how to configure a firewall i will attest to that Please know how to configure a firewall. I ignored his little warning there. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> know how to configure a firewall. So know your ports and how to configure a firewall and know your acronyms. <laughs> so I watched him on 1.5 speed. And that's because I it, it, these things were nothing new to me. So I um, I watched him on a faster speed. So I still have sections that I struggled with and I had to do something that I swear I did not, I would not do and I would not have to do. And that was read a book. I had to read Mike Myers book and it's awesome. I wish I had started off with the book and then did the videos. The book was so in depth. It helped me so much. It made sense. It was in order. I was able to, it, it just, it, complete it complete it what I already knew some people can't sit there and watch a video all day I can I can sit and watch a video and understand and learn some people cannot but this book completed every single thing that I had learned previously so this whole time I'm still checking off things for my objectives what I really didn't know was down to a sticky note I, and that's a lot. I, I kid you not. I went through a lot of objectives. Um, there's five sections. What I didn't know was down to a sticky note. So from here, what I didn't know was mainly um, some some networking things. I use Sunny Classroom on YouTube, which is awesome. I got that little nugget from Reddit. A lot of people on Reddit were using this. I'll get to Reddit in a second. But... It was very helpful. I did use ChatGPT a couple of times again. And sorry if you see me looking down, looking at my notes, because I documented every single thing I did so that I can tell you guys. And lastly, I used Google. 
I use Google. Some things I I didn't understand. I legit just Googled it. Um, I think people forget about Google, but Google is your friend in IT. So I started with Jason Dion. I went on to Professor Messer and Exam Cram. I then went to Andrew and I went back to Professor Messer along with reading Mike Myers book. Um, and I also threw in their chat GPT and Sunny Classroom. So if you're wondering why I use so many study materials, it's because for one, not everybody covered everything. You want to kind of bridge those gaps. That's what I did. I wanted to make sure there were no knowledge gaps. If you use one source, they may not cover everything and then there's a lot that you don't know and then every single it could be everything that you know you get tested on is what you didn't know and what you didn't study or what you weren't taught i wanted to make sure there were no gaps in my knowledge i wanted to know every single thing i didn't want any surprises on the exam like i said i went in there confident i knew what i knew i knew that i i had studied it i knew i studied it to the best of my ability and I went in there with confidence. So my final tip is join Facebook groups, join Reddit groups, Discord, just however you want to study. Not only do you get study tips and information, but you also get a community of people who are legit there to help you and who are proud of you once you pass. It was inspiring seeing other people pass. I mean, what this one guy, because um, the passing score is 750, he scored 750 and we are just like, yes, a win is a win. You pass. Doesn't matter what you pass by. I passed with a 759. Doesn't matter what you pass by. You pass. I know we all want to pass with a 900, but you literally just need a 750 to pass. I also joined Jason Dion's Facebook group. And funny enough, I posted that I passed in the group and got over 200 likes and a million questions about how I passed which is why I'm doing this video but I posted this to my regular Facebook page I think I got maybe three congratulations <laughs> not only do they 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 don't know what this is but find your tribe my tribe was in that group it was legit in that group and it was legit those people they understood the hard work that I put into this and how hard it was to get this and they're studying themselves I had so many questions about any tips what did I do to pass um, so this is why I'm making this video everything that I told these people I'm telling you guys I told the same people on LinkedIn I told I'm, I'm telling all of you basically how I I passed the exam and it may not be as good as somebody else. Somebody may have been able to watch Professor Messer and pass. I'm not that type of girl. I have to, I, I got to do more than just memorize. I need to understand the concept because if they throw a question at you left field and it's not in a way you memorized, you can't answer it. So I'm the type of person, I need to know the concept so they can throw anything at me because I know it, I can answer it. So that's the type of person I am. So you guys, I'm hoping that this was helpful to you. I hope that you succeed in passing and any exam that you take. I mean, this is helpful for anything, honestly. So I would like to hear down in the comments below whether or not you're studying, whether or not you're you just passed or if you're looking to study things like that you can hit me up on linkedin i'll link that below i'm definitely open to new connections and just people who are in the industry or going into cybersecurity or just it in general so so thank you so much for watching my video my name is alexis and i'll see you guys in the next one bye